Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, NAACP, for hosting this event. Um, Tony Rodriguez, uh, give you a little background on myself. Long life resident of Brockton. Um, went to the public school system, graduated, uh, went to Massachusetts Community College, uh, worked for the Department of Corrections, 18 years, two more to go. Uh, can't wait for that 20 year mark so I can retire. Um, married, I have three children in the school system. Uh, actually, my oldest is a uh, junior at UMass uh, Lowell uh, in the engineering program. Uh, my daughter, Kai, actually, Pat, is uh, my daughter's mentor, sitting here giving me the time. Um, She's going to be going into a fr uh, freshman year here at the high school, uh, into the STEM program. And she was also second place in the state in the science fair, thanks to her help. <laughs> and, uh, and the little one is uh, going into the uh, first grade at the Kennedy School. So, um, And actually, my wife, Danina, uh, she works for the school system. She's the job coach, uh, working with kids with disabilities and getting them into higher education and actually into the workforce. Um, Newcomer to the political scene, but always in the background watching what's going on with this city. Um, was going to put my hand, my foot in the race last election, just wanted to tie up some things. Uh, so Brett Gormley, Ward 4, uh, we go back, uh, junior high football, uh, was always in my head, Tony, you know, you know you're, you're, you're a good candidate, you should go out there, you know, the, the fights, the struggles that, that needs to be done in the school, um, from infrastructure to classroom. Um, all rays of issues that come with the school department. Um, being a child of an immigrant and going through the first three years in the school system in the bilingual program, I just want to make sure that those kids are afforded the opportunities that I didn't have when I was going through the school system. Um, being that with different cultures, it's not just Cape Verdeans, it's Haitians, Spanish, Brazilians, Louisians, there's a lot of different uh, languages there and culture. We just want to make sure that our teachers, our administrators, and the school system actually have the training to deal with these individuals uh, from autism. What is the school department doing to address these issues with kids with disabilities to make sure they have more than enough training in the education to move these kids forward? Um, but I think I have 30 seconds left, and uh, thank you. Get out there, vote. Um, Reach out to the people. Uh, this is a great uh, event. Thank you again, uh, NAACP, for hosting this event and uh, meet the candidates. And we get it going. <laughs>